and welcome to another video from Colour with Claire. Today's video is another instalment in my skin tone series so if you look in the description box below there will be a link that will take you to the playlist I've made uh, for my skin tone series and it includes all different videos for different coloured pencil brands and finding the skin tones from those brands. So for example we've got Prismacolor Polychromos and Luminance so far and today we're doing Black Widow. Now quick note that I give on all of the videos, um, these aren't the only definitive skin tones you can find in the Black Widow set of pencils. These are just the ones that I use the most um, in my colouring and uh, yeah I hope they're just really useful for you to be honest and that you can use them to uh, further your portrait skills so to speak. So I'm going to zoom in so that we can start filling in all of our different skin tones. There we go. And so basically how I've done it is I've marked out all of the colours that are to be used in the skin tone and I've left a little white blank box there for us to fill in and show the blend. Obviously when you're colouring people you're not just going to be doing it in a box, you're going to be doing it around noses and cheeks and eyes and I do have loads of videos on how to colour skin on an actual face. <laughs> so if you just uh, search on my channel how to colour skin or skin tones you'll find those and you can apply these uh, these colours and palettes to that. So without further ado let's get straight on. So first of all we've got the colour blush. This is from the skin set and it's number 015. So I'm going to start at the end of this box and I'm going to show you the blend itself. Exactly the same as all of the other skin tone videos on my channel. So this one is a nice little pinky rose delicate skin tone. And I really like this colour blush because it's not a bright pink, it just kind of has that undertone of pink but it's not too in your face. So that's that. Next up we have 017 from the skin set called Merc. And that blends really, really nicely again with the uh, blush tone. Very, very delicate, fair skin tone this one. And then because this is only a three colour blend, we go straight on to our next colour, which is from the Cobra set, number 32, and it's called Gold. And this is a really nice, very pale, kind of, I want to say desaturated, but it's kind of toned down. It's not a bright yellow. It's a, sort of a tint of a yellow, I guess. But what I like to do is then go back over it with that Merc, that center color there just to dull it down even further because we want to make it look as realistic as we possibly can and I think just putting a, a layer of that Merc over it further desaturates it and it's not as yellow to the eye if that makes sense. So you've got a really really fair skin tone here with a blush pink for your shadows and that gold for your highlights. Next up we've got uh, Rust which is number 003 from the Skin Tone set. This is a four colour blend. So we'll start off with the Rust. This is kind of a, a very light burnt orange colour. And as you can see I've got my old favourite, the uh, light lavender purple, ready to come and get rid of some of the oranginess out of this Rust colour. So from Rust we go into Eggshell, which is from the skin set, it's 007. And then again we've got the Cobra number 32 Gold. So you will see me use some of the same pencils a few times in this and as I say there's probably loads more skin tones you can get out of the Black Widow set but I've limited it to these ones that I use most often and I'm going to be using more in my colouring because I do tend to if I'm honest stick to the same skin tones because I kind of once I've figured one out I don't want to deviate from it um, but I do want to be using more and more and that's basically the reason first and foremost that I'm doing these videos 
is to give myself some more options. So all I'm doing is going over that gold with the eggshell, just the same as we did with the Merc on the first one, just to tone it down a little bit. Now, as you can see, I've got the washed purple there. And that is what I usually do. If you've been watching these videos, you'll know that if something's too red or too orangey, I'll quite often get a grayed lavender or a very light pastel purple and just go over it quite lightly to, I keep saying desaturate, I need to find another word, but it tones down the red colours. It's sort of, um, what's the word? It, it kind of bleaches out the red from the tone. I don't know, but it's sort of the opposite of it. And it, it just has a good a good way of turning it into more of a shadow colour than bright orange. So I'm literally doing this really, really lightly. And I'm just going to come across over the eggshell as well. So, so lightly. I'm barely even touching the paper. But hopefully you can see the camera's picking it up. That it has actually dulled down some of that rust colour as you can see here. And uh, yeah, that's a really nice one. Uh, next up, are we on? Yes, we are. <laughs> um, we're going with Light Mocha. So that's from the Skin Tone set. It's number 019. And again, this is another three colour blend. So we can bring out the colour a little bit more toward the centre. Now, just to say that I haven't actually included any um, sort of blush colours or rouge or anything on the on any of my skin tones. So, for example, this one here, it does look a little bit yellow and I don't expect the skin to be that colour all the way across. You might want to put some blush in there, um, you know, some natural reddening of the face. And with that, you could probably go over it with some of that blush colour and, and just, um, I don't know, make it look a little bit more alive, <laughs> maybe. Um, so yeah, it's up to you how you want to do it. These are just sort of like base colours and you can build on them if you want to and if you've got more skill than I have. So this is Light Mocha and then we're going back to Eggshell which was from Skin Tone Set 007 and we're also going back to another colour we used on the first one which is Merc and that is a little bit of a lighter shade of Eggshell. So let's grab Merc. two really really good colours for skin especially if you want to use them as a blender over the top of everything to maybe um, lighten up some areas so that's that one next up we have got cinnamon from the skin tone set number 011 this is a four colour blend and I've put the words WP down there the letters because I wasn't sure whether to add some washed purple to it or not I haven't actually tried it on my practice page so I might have a go but I just don't want to end up ruining it because <laughs> this is another very reddish skin tone so we've got the cinnamon just pushing quite hard at the edge and then tapering off with light pressure for the next colour We've then got Rattlesnake, number 66, from the Cobra set of pencils. And as you can see, this is a really, really orangey tone. It's kind of like a burnt orange, a red, reddish orange. That's the great thing about skin tones, you know, they come in all different um, patterns of colour, you know. You can have reddish skin tones, you can have greyish skin tones even. You know, skin tones erring on the yellow side and some on the greenish side, you know. So it's just really interesting to change up your coloured pages with different kinds of skin tones. And that's not even getting into like fantasy skin tones, you know, blue ones and alien greens and stuff like that. Uh, next, we've got Rust, which we already used. So that's from the Skin Tone 003. And finally, we're back to Merc. So you will probably use quite a lot of Merc and eggshell in your lighter skin tones. Uh, 
Okay, there we go. So Merc is zero one seven. So I did say about the washed purple, I might give it a go. Really don't want to ruin this, but I'll try it for you. <laughs> um, so we'll go over with a bit of washed purple. Could actually be that this is slightly too dark to make much of a difference with this cinnamon colour. Yeah, it's not it's not really doing anything to be honest. Maybe slightly. Keep going over the box. Um yeah, so anyway, that's it. Um I like it. I really like these reddish skin tones. And don't forget that any of these skin tones I show you, as I've said in the previous videos, are um you don't have to sort of block out the whole of your skin with these colours. You know, the, if you're using this palette, for example, your skin will probably be mostly this colour and then you'll be using these very sparingly for shadowed areas. So it's not like your skin's going to look, you know, ex all orange and dark like that. It's probably going to look more like this end of the spectrum with these as shadows. Next, we've got a uh, chalk tone. So we're going into the darker tones now. Chalk tone is from the skin set. It's number 023. And this is a four colour blend. So Chalk Tone is a lovely dark brown. Another favourite, I think, from the, uh, the Skin Tone sets that came out late last year. Don't forget, top tip is to keep your pencils as sharp as possible. Um, really does help with blending. We've then got Mud, which is again from the skin set, number 022. So we're getting a little bit lighter here, but still very, very warm. Another beautiful brown. There's some really stunning browns in the skin set. Next is Negra from the skin set again, number 010. So you can see we're getting lighter and lighter all the time, but we're still keeping that warmth. And it's on the next um, and final skin tone where we look at a bit of a cooler dark skin. So this is really warm. So that is the Negra. And then finally, Foxy Brown from the Black Widow Pencils, number 22. This is probably one of my favourite skin tones. Lovely warm brown. And there we are. Now finally, we've got this one, beginning with Midnight, which is from the Skin Tone set. It is classed as a black, but it's not actually as deep as a black. It's kind of like a lamp black. So sometimes when you get um, colour pencil sets, you'll get two blacks in there, and one is slightly lighter and greyer than the other. And that's the base for this skin tone. It's a very dark skin tone. So it's on the, the very darkest edge of the uh, the skin tone spectrum, so to speak. Um, but it does have some nice light highlights there with the cool suede colour. So we'll pop in Midnight there. Again, this is going to be a shadow colour, so you might not need to use very much of this at all if you don't want it to, to go too dark. Uh, then we've got Huntsman, which is from Black Widow. It's number 117. So this is a dark brown, slightly... I would say it's actually it's on a par with chalk tone that we used uh, in the previous one, but I just think it's a bit cooler. It doesn't have the warmth to it that chalk tone does, so it just makes for a, a completely different look. So that's Huntsman. Then we've got Dark Chocolate, which to be fair it is quite a warm tone, but it seems to go. Um, that's scorpion and it's number 40 so we've used actually all of the black widow sets at some point so yeah you can see this is much warmer it's got that red tone to it but it still goes with the the previous colors and it, it sort of helps to transition into that very very light suede 
which is what you'll be using for your highlights and shine. So imagine you've coloured an absolutely beautiful portrait in this black uh, skin tone and then you want some light shining on the, the uh, apples of the cheeks and the centre of the chin and all the areas that stick out uh, most of a face which would catch the light. Then you would want something nice and light but also with that brown undertone which would be your suede. So it's not easy to blend in but I'm just putting a light layer of the dark chocolate up there so that we can have a better chance of it blending in. But to be honest, it's one of those things that you'll know where to put it when you're actually colouring a face. <laughs> and as you can see, it just goes, the whole, the whole palette just goes together. It's not a fantastic blend with the dark chocolate, but if you keep working at it, adding in some more of the dark chocolate to sort of get rid of the transition line, maybe even going over the whole thing, the whole suede with the dark chocolate very lightly so it sort of melts into it and uh, there you go I spent ages trying to figure this dark palette out because I still needed a light for the highlights but I think we've got it so yeah just going over the suede a little bit with the dark chocolate and I think that's really helped to pull it all together so that's it that is our six black widow skin tones let's zoom you out focus you in <laughs> and there we go so really really hope that you've enjoyed watching me swatch out these skin tones from the black widow sets um as i mentioned i also have polychromos prismacolor and luminance skin tone videos already up in the playlist link in the description if you've got any requests for me to do skin tones from different pencil sets please comment below and let me know uh, this isn't going to be the end i will be doing more but i just thought i'd chuck uh, four different videos out there all in one go. I've been sitting on them for a few days and I thought I'd get them all out there because I know sometimes uh, you guys uh, wait quite a long time for me to get on with series and stuff because life gets in the way. So I've got four all together for you. Hopefully that'll keep you going for a bit. And uh, please click the thumbs up on this video to show your appreciation and do subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Thank you so, so much and I'll see you soon on Colour with Claire.